on City TV. They are cheaper than regular condos, they don't leak, and they can be built in a fraction of the time. The first pre-manufactured high-rises in the province are being built in Surrey. And as Joe Bennett reports, some say they are the way of the future. High-grade concrete is poured like cake batter into a giant mold. It's then shaken to release the air bubbles and sprayed with a protective coating. This concrete was done early this morning and it's extremely now uh, well set. The panels are just part of this new construction technology, custom building walls, floors and other parts of buildings in a factory ready to assemble on site. All this one is on hinges. You, put, you build it while it's on the ground level and then you tilt it all up and then you put the trusses. Roger Rashed has been perfecting the technology for years, and now he's preparing to build the first high-rises in B.C. using his system. They are built to be leak-proof, earthquake-proof, and soundproof. If all goes well, it will only take six months from the day construction begins until the day people can move into the first tower. That's because everything is built off-site and then assembled here. A traditional 15- to 20-story building can take anywhere from one to two years to build. This is the future, the future of construction. The price of construction is increasing exponentially. Every year, people don't have any more of the means to buy. So you have to automate the construction industry if you, are, if, if you can provide affordable housing. This project, believe it or not, with, with this sophisticated design, is affordable housing. It's so affordable, in fact, even before the project has been given final approval, most of the suites in the first tower already have buyers. It is uh, roughly 30 percent uh, cheaper than your conventional construction. So basically we're looking at $250 a square foot as an average price as compared to around 300 in the same area. Now those involved with the Optima project are still waiting for final approval. After that they hope to get construction started within six months. Now this project is just a few blocks from the central city area of Surrey. Now that part that construction there was meant to clean up the King George Skytrain area. Now Roger Rashed says he hopes it'll be a success and if so he hopes to see many more pre-manufactured high-rises in BC.